Webb has just given us another beautiful galaxy image to drool over. This time it's IC5332, a galaxy we'd already seen unofficially on Twitter, but now we have the official portrait. This is a mid-infrared image from Webb's MIRI instrument, and it looks awesome. We've never seen the galaxy in so much detail, especially in the long mid-infrared wavelengths. The galaxy itself is around 29 or 30 million light years from Earth, and it's a little larger than our own Milky Way galaxy at roughly 66,000 light years across. This galaxy is famous for being almost perfectly face on from our point of view, meaning we get to see the full beauty of its spiral structure and marvel at the stunning symmetrical sweep of its spiral arms. If it was edge on, we'd just see a thin line in space, but being face on makes it all the more beautiful. I did actually mention the unofficial image at the end of another video just here, but now we have an official release, it deserves a video all of its own. The spiral structure is actually less visible in this web image when compared to the older Hubble image we have of the same galaxy. This is a composite visible light and UV image taken by Hubble's Wide Field Camera 3. In this shot of the galaxy, we see dark veins in between the spiral structures that make up the arms of the galaxy. These are dusty regions, absorbing the visible and UV light that Hubble's looking for. Infrared light, on the other hand, scatters much less frequently off of interstellar dust, and so tends to make it through the dusty patches to reach the Webb telescope. This is why the galaxy looks much more like a continuous tangled knot of structure in the Webb image. We're seeing through a lot of the dust that gives the Hubble image its spiral shape, and here those dark patches light up with previously hidden stars. Another difference between the two images is that stars have different brightnesses in different wavelengths. Some are brighter in the web image, but many are brighter in the UV and visible light Hubble image too. It's fun to pick regions or stars and see which image they're brighter in. I'll leave a link to this interactive version in the description in case you want to have a go yourself. By viewing the images together, we get a really cool and much more complete view of the galaxy and its structure. It's also one of the few JWST images seen so far that doesn't have any background galaxies. Or at least I haven't found any poking through. But do let me know if I'm wrong in the comments and let me know where it is you can see one. The image was a tricky one to take because it used Webb's MIRI instrument. This is the only instrument on Webb that looks at mid-infrared light, specifically between 5 and 28 micron wavelengths. All of the others look at the shorter near-infrared wavelengths. For MIRI to do this with the quality and resolution needed here, MIRI is kept 33 degrees Celsius colder than all of the other instruments on board at just 7 Kelvin. That's 7 degrees above absolute zero. I have a video all about the details of this and how and why it's done. Link in the description and in the card in the top corner too. But it's a combination of the observatory's heat shield blocking heat from the sun, earth and moon, and also an active cooler that also keeps it chilly. The longer wavelengths that MIRI sees come with an unavoidable slight resolution downgrade when compared to shorter wavelength images. That always happens when you go to longer wavelengths, but I still think this image is really cool. Let me know what you think in the comments below and subscribe to this channel if you're new. Until next time, stay safe team. I'll see you soon. Bye.